The new Rescue 910 Portable Power Pack by Quick Cable gives you the Add a Battery option to customize the battery inside the Portable Power Pack. This video will show you how to add a battery to the Rescue 910. Before you begin, be sure you have adequate workspace with a battery acid counter mat, available from Quick Cable. Always wear eye protection and rubber gloves when working around lead acid batteries. Add only a sealed lead acid battery with dimensions not exceeding 7 and 1 16th inches wide by 3 inches deep by 6 and 9 16th inches high. To install a battery, you'll need the following tools. A Phillips No. 2 tip screwdriver with a blade length of 6 inches or a power screwdriver and two 8mm wrenches. First take the unit out of the box and place it on the battery acid counter mat. The unit is constructed from a two-shell case and secured by 12 screws. Carefully place case upright and separate shells. Be sure to test the battery before installing to make sure it is indicating the proper voltage and amp hours of a functionally charged battery. Insert battery horizontally with terminals facing up and outward. Be sure all internal wiring has cleared the battery. Attach the cable from the on-off switch and the small red lead to the battery's positive terminal. Next, attach negative wire and small gauge black lead to the battery's negative terminal. Carefully rejoin the shells. Make sure all wires and cables are completely inside the unit case. Secure case with 12 screws starting with the bottom two screws and then the top two screws. Test the unit for functionality. It's a good idea to charge the unit before repackaging. After the unit is fully charged, repackage the unit in its box. For more information on Rescue Portable Power Packs, visit quickcable.com.